what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today we're going to be actually getting into a very interesting topic which is going to be exporting individual clips and multiple jobs and timelines okay you probably wonder well why are we skipping all this other stuff in here um that is mainly because someone actually placed a comment on one of my videos previously asking for help in this area and so i'm really making this video to really address their issue to really kind of help them get out of a bad situation on their editing journey so this is to help you guys so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the software so let's say we've done our color grade of course not the world's greatest color grade in the world we're just trying to get something done here we're going to go over to our delivery page now and we have some changes okay so by default okay davinci resolve is going to select the single option okay so by default it will put the single option so what i recommend you do is you select the multiple or individual clip option okay make sure you name it to be whatever you want you can name it to be melissa and paul so i already had it there melissa and paul performance renders or something like that pick a location where you want it to go okay right now i have mine going into a folder called renders so let's delete this out so you guys can see that i am making new files okay and then what we're going to do is make sure that your file here is set to custom name which is that custom name we did very good all right and you can also do use unique file names too it's a really useful one as well okay and uh just leave everything default really um you know i'm just gonna kind of go ahead and add this to our render queue so you guys can kind of see what's gonna happen here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and hit render and you'll notice that over here on the left hand side of our timeline there is this like orange bar if i change this to single you'll see it all becomes gray but if you do individual it becomes orange so that's how you know it's going to send these all all right and simply just go ahead and click on your render here and go ahead and hit render all and then what we can do is we can actually watch it create these files so you can see it's creating that one it created that one boom and it created these individual files now with my edited color grade okay so that right there is individual clips in a nutshell now i'm gonna show you guys how to do uh individual jobs in the queue for um the deliver page let's jump back into the software and let's say we want to do a single clip and we want to do from here to here so in and out points by pressing i and o on the keyboard so i just pressed o here okay and then i want to call this melissa paul opening part and then we'll put that in renders as well that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and add that to the render queue okay so you can see it went over here and then let's say i want to start from here now so i'm gonna hit i as in igloo i'm gonna move this over to here press o as well and render just this part and we're gonna call this melissa and paul ending part and we're gonna hit add to render queue all right now if I click on this here to edit, you can see that it's only going to grab this one. And if I click on this one here and hit the pen button and hit, oh, so it's saying, hey, do you want to change this? No, don't save any changes. If you hit the pen button here, you'll see that it's grabbing the second part. Now, if you want to render both of these, uh, don't save. Uh, if you want to render both of these, all you need to do is simply select both of them and hit render all. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to go ahead and click on this one and click on this one. We're going to go ahead and hit render two, and then watch what happens. It rendered that one, and then it's moving on, and it's going on to render this one. Okay? So now if we go back into our parts here, you can see that we actually have our Melissa opening and our Melissa and Paul ending part. Okay? All right. Now, what if you have multiple timelines and you want to render all of those? I got you. Check this out. Let's go back to the edit page. We're going to call this, yeah, Melissa1. We're going to make a new timeline. We're going to call this, drag, drop a clip in here. Let's just trim it. Make it like this. Boom. We're going to call this Paul1. Right? I don't know why this is bothering my OCD. We're going to right click on it again, rename it Melissa1. Paul1. Cool. All right. Going back over to our deliver page down here. Okay. And what we're going to do is, as you can see, it already, you see this up here, it already kind of picked one. But 
that's because it picked the last one that we were in on our edit page see i'm in paul one right here but if i hit melissa it comes over here and now you can see we're in melissa timeline all right this is really important because this is how you're going to do multiple timelines so all you need to do now is simply go ahead and hit add to render queue right here then go up here to the top and just drag and drop it down to your next timeline and then go over here add to render queue right here and then you can click both of these timelines and it's going to render both of these right here and then it's going to name them both melissa timeline because that's what i said to name it okay and as you can see it rendered both of these timelines all right and of course they all went right here so if you wanted two different as you can see i had one file there all you have to do is rename them so this one right here you click on the edit name this you can actually make it be the name of the timeline so you can go to file and call it the timeline name okay go back to here and hit update job so now see it says melissa one over here okay you guys see that it, it says performance renders slash melissa one dot mp3 and the same thing with this hit the pencil okay you go over here to the file name make it the timeline name go back to video go back to update job all right now I updated those now what we're going to do is select both of these again by holding shift or you can do control click as well and hit render all and yes and it is going to render both of these timelines and now we can verify that by going over to here and here you can see I should just delete all this now you can see that we have the Melissa timeline and the Paul timeline okay so that is pretty much how you can do uh, you know individual clips multiple jobs and multiple timelines okay i showed you guys pretty much the sauce on that you just kind of really drag and drop down uh that little option and you can bring in multiple timelines now you're probably wondering uh what if there are more than like 10 different timelines because i think you have a limit of like 10 uh simply you will have to open and close those different timelines and go back into them to get them to be back into that option okay so I'll show you guys more on that later down the road if you have a ton of them with a the script But for now that at least gets you dangerous on how you can export multiple timelines on a simple level Okay, I never asked for subscribers. I know that's kind of crazy Like I never asked for subscribers because I believe that if you truly you know find value in someone's video you're going to subscribe because you want to see more of it um but i do appreciate those of you that have and i do recognize that and thank you so much i'm going to continue to do more teach everything that i know i'm not going to hold anything back to you guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful day a wonderful week and a wonderful year and we'll see you guys soon take care